living in Mexico. Glossary. In this story, you are going to see the words highlighted in red from the glossary. Aztecs. B-C-E slash C-E. Colony. Conqueror. Folk art. Mayans. Olmecs. Peninsula. Plateau. Pyramid. Temple. If you come across a word while listening to me read, pause, go back to the glossary. It will help you have an understanding of what it is you're reading. Living in Mexico. Hola! That means hi in Spanish. My name is Rosa and I live in Mexico. Mexico is a country in North America where more than 120 million people live, including me. Mexico is a beautiful country. Many people come here to visit the pretty beaches and deserts or to hike in the rainforest and mountains. The weather in Mexico is very different from place to place. Near the ocean and the rainforest, the weather is hot and humid. In the mountains and on the plateau, the weather is dry and mild. Mexico has two big deserts in the north. The deserts are home to many plants and animals, such as road runners, mountain lions, and cactuses that can grow up to 60 feet tall. Two mountain ranges run down Mexico's east and west sides. Between the mountains is the Mexican Plateau. Many people live on the plateau. Mexico's capital, Mexico City, is on the plateau. It was built on top of an ancient city, Guadalajara. Guadalajara holds a yearly festival for a special kind of Mexican music called Marachi. Cancun has some of the best beaches in the world. Oaxaca is home to colorful festivals and folk art. Mexico City. Guadalajara, Cancun, Oaxaca. I live in La Paz, a city on the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico. I live with my mom, dad, brother, and sister. My parents work for a sailing company. They take people on sailboats to see the gray whales. I love watching the whales. I want to study whales when I grow up. Every morning I get ready for school. I brush my teeth and I put on my school uniform. Then I comb my hair neatly. In Mexico, it's important to look neat and clean for school. For breakfast, we eat fried eggs, beans, and sauce on a tortilla. A tortilla is a round, flat piece of bread. After breakfast, my mom and dad drive me to school. My brother and sisters go to a school for younger kids. I put my things away and I talk to my friends about our reports. We are learning about archeology, span which is a study of ancient cultures. There are many places in Mexico where the remains of ancient cities still stand. School starts at eight o'clock each morning. The first half of the day is taught in Spanish. After snack time, we are taught in English. I speak both languages. Our first lesson in Spanish is about Mexico's history. 10,000 years ago, people in the region started coming together to farm the land. In 1500 BCE, the Olmec people 
began growing many things we have today, such as corn, beans, and cotton. Around 600 BCE, the Olmecs split into different groups, one of which was the Mayans. Between 1325 CE and 1519 CE, the Aztec people conquered many groups and brought them together. The Aztecs built pyramids and temples, created jewelry and art, and lived in huge cities. In 1519 CE, Hernán Cortés, a European explorer, was sent to claim the Aztecs' land for Spain. In 1521, he succeeded. The Spanish conquered more and more people and took their land. They called the colony New Spain. Spain ruled for almost 300 years, but the people of New Spain wanted their own country. They wanted to be free. They fought many battles with Spain. The people won their freedom in 1821 and New Spain became Mexico. After our history lesson, we have a snack. Today's snack is juicy pineapple sprinkled with chili powder and lime juice. After we clean up, we start our math lesson in English. I really like math. Look, I got a 10 on my math test. In Mexico, we are graded with numbers instead of letters. A 10 is the best score you can get. We have geography and science lessons, and then school is over at two o'clock. My family picks me up for lunch. In Mexico, lunch is the most important meal of the day. My parents have a break from work to eat. For lunch, we are eating quesadillas. Quesadillas are like a sandwich. Cheese, beans, and chicken Go on the top of the tortilla. Then we put another tortilla on top and cook it. As we eat, we talk about our day. After lunch, my brother, sister, and I go to our after school programs. In Mexico, many kids attend after school programs while their parents work. My little brother and sister play soccer. I take a special art class for older kids. We're learning about Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo, two famous Mexican artists from the 1900s. Our parents pick us up when their work is over and we go home. In Mexico, we have a holiday in November called the Day of the Dead. We celebrate the lives of our family and friends who have died. There are big parades, and celebrations. I help my mom make a special bread. We will eat it at the parade tomorrow. My brother and sisters put up pretty paper banners to decorate the house for the holiday. Dinner time in Mexico. Dinner is usually a light meal. Tonight we're having chilled avocado soup. Before bed, I read my book about whales fish, and dolphins around the world. Someday I'm going to sail to different countries and see them. Would you like to visit Mexico someday? All about Mexico. Name, United Mexican States, or Mexico for short. Population, 122 million. Capital, Mexico City. Language, Primarily Spanish, though the government recognizes 68 indigenous languages, including Nahutal, including Nahutal, Yucatan, Mayan, and Mixtecs. Total area 758,449 square miles. Government, Federal Republic. Currency, Peso. Fun fact, chocolate originated in Mexico City roughly 4,000 years ago, starting around 1900 BCE. Ancient people living in Mexico ground cocoa beans down 
and added them to a mixture of vanilla, honey, chili peppers, and water. The result was the first hot chocolate, a special drink reserved for rulers, wealthy nobles, and warriors. Flag, three equal sized vertical stripes of green, white, and red. Mexico's coat of arms, an eagle with a snake in its mouth, standing on a cactus, appears in the center. Living in Mexico. <laughs>